Hey guys, welcome to the next episode. Today I'm going to show you how to install and configure MetaMask on Google Chrome. Of course, this will also work, for example, on phone or on Brave browser. So let's start. First of all, we need to open Chrome browser. Once we do this, we have to go to Google and then type in the search box MetaMask. As soon as we do this, it should find a MetaMask from Google Chrome Store, so all we need to do is click on it. And once it opens, we need to click on the right side, Add to Chrome. Once we do this, it will ask us if we really, really want to add this extension to our browser, so all we have to do over here is click Add Extension. And as soon as we do this, MetaMask will be added. So at the next step, once it's installed is to click in the right top corner on this fox icon and as you can see a website that will allow us to start using metamask is just opened so all we have to do over here is click get started and as soon as we do this we will be able to create our own wallet that will allow us to connect to decentralized web the next step will ask us are we new to MetaMask and on the left side we've got an option to import our seed phrase if we already have an account or if we are new we would use the option on the right side and this will allow us to create our brand new account. In the next step they will ask us if we would like to help them to improve MetaMask by sending anonymous data about the usage of MetaMask from our account from our computer. So here you can agree or, or not agree, it's up to you. I'm gonna click no thanks. And the next step would be to create our own password. You need to make sure to remember this password because if you lose it, you will lose access to your account and no one will be able to help you recover it. So this is very important. Make sure you remember the password or you save it in a secure location because this is how you can access your account. So over here you need to type password that is minimum 8 letters or 8 characters. I would suggest using capital, small letters, numbers and special characters. Once you type in the password and confirm it, we have to check the box that we read and agree to the terms of use and next click create. Once we click create, we will move to the next phase and over here we will see our secret backup phrase. This backup phrase is used to access our account. If, for example, we lose our computer or we lose access to our account in any other way, for example, our computer burned or something like this, we will use secret backup phrase to access our wallet and thanks to that will be access our funds that are on those wallets, our cryptocurrencies. So it's very important over here to remember this backup phrase or maybe you can also save it in a secure location. On the right side you have some tips. So for example, you should save this phrase, this backup phrase in two or three different places minimum. Just in case one of those places, uh, let's say, burns or something like this. There are some accidents sometimes. So if that would burn and you don't have your backup phrase, that would mean that you lose all your money from this account. So save this backup phrase or you can print it, put it in three different places. Security box, I don't know, our grandma's place or something like this. Or you can also memorize this phrase and then hope that you won't get amnesia or you won't forget this phrase. Another option would be also to download this secret phrase to our computer. You can do a few of the things that I've mentioned or you can uh, save just one. It's all up to you, but like I said, make sure you have this phrase saved several times in several different locations because if you lose it you lose access to your account and you lose access to all the funds all the cryptocurrencies that you stored on this account once you save this phrase click next and once we click next we will be asked to confirm that we really saved our backup phrase this is to make sure that we don't lose access to our account so over here we will have to click in the right order on all the phrases from our backup phrase. So just look at the phrase that you just saved and then click on all the words that you saw there in the right order. 
And once you do this, once you click on all the words in the right order, all you have to do next is click confirm. And as soon as we do this, our account is created. And here we can read some uh, useful tips. For example, first of all, save a backup in multiple places. So make sure you save this backup phrase in multiple places. Second of all, never share this phrase with anyone because anyone who would have access to this phrase can access your account. And if they can access your account, they can steal your cryptocurrency. So never share this backup phrase with anyone. And if you don't remember the phrase uh, right now or you want to double check, you can always go to settings and security and then check your backup phrase. Of course, this will only work if we don't lose access to our account. Yes, if we are logged in in the account. So once this is done, we click all done. And right now our MetaMask was uh, created. We already have a wallet over here, as you can see. And we can store our Ethereum tokens or any other token based on Ethereum. In order to add another token to MetaMask, all we have to do is click add token down here. And then we will have two options. We can search for the tokens or we can add custom tokens. To add custom tokens, all we have to do is uh, add token contract address. I'm not going to explain how to do it right now. Let's just add one of the tokens that are by default available in MetaMask. So over here, all we have to do is type the name of the token that we want to add. So let's say I want to add uh, KNC, which is Kyber Network token. So I would write KNC and as you can see, KNC was found. All I have to do is click on it then click next now we click add now and right now our new token was already added and as you can see there is ethereum and knc on the list so this is how we add tokens now where is our public address as you can see up here it says account one and there is some uh, address over there so if we click over there it will copy our public address let me copy it over here so you can see it all and this public address is used to send cryptocurrencies to our wallet. So if someone wants to send cryptocurrencies to us, they would have to send it to this public address. So if you're, for example, sending cryptocurrencies from an exchange, you would type in this address and then from the exchange, the cryptocurrencies would go to your wallet. And of course, this address is the same for all the tokens that we store on MetaMask. So the same address would be for KNC, Ethereum, Ocean or any other token based on Ethereum. And now let's say we want to send our cryptocurrencies. Let's say we want to send KNC to someone. In order to do that, we would click on the token down here from the list. Right now we access the menu of this cryptocurrency and then we click send. Once we do this, we need to paste the address to which we want to send it. I'm just going to paste my own address over here. Once we paste the address over here, we need to write the amount of the KNC we want to send. Of course, it will work exactly the same with other currencies, Ethereum or anything else. And next, we need to choose the fee that we are willing to pay for our transactions to be successful. So once everything is done, we click confirm sent and the transfer was already sent. Now let's move to the next step. If we move our mouse to the right top corner and we click on those three dots, then we click on account details and over here we will see our QR code with our public address of this wallet and also we can see our public address down here. Another option we can also export our private key over here. So if you want to store your private keys in a secure place, you can also export them over here and then save them to some uh, secure location. We can also change the name of this account because we can have multiple accounts on MetaMask. So all you have to do is click on this pencil, type in the new name and then confirm. And since we can have multiple wallets on one MetaMask account, I'm going to show you how to do it. So if we want to add another account or create a new account, we would move our mouse to the right top corner. And then we have two options, create account and import account. So if we have already some accounts based on Ethereum, we can import them by typing in our private key over here. And once we type private key, this account will be added to MetaMask and we can easily find them here on the list. Or we can create new account by clicking over here. Then over here we would type in the name, so I would call it Testova. We just write the name that we want to give to this account and then we click create. 
And as soon as we do this, as you can see, my account was already created. It has a different public and different private key. And we can easily switch between them over here. So let's say you want to have two accounts. One you want to use for your uh, trading, like live trading on exchanges. And one you have just to store your HODL coins. In that moment you would just create two accounts. You can call one HODL for example and one trading or any other name you want. And you have two wallets connected to one MetaMask account, which makes it super easy to manage them and use them for anything you want. And just before we finish, one more thing. Let's say we restarted our computer. How can we access back our MetaMask account? In order to do that, we would move our mouse to the right top corner to this Fox icon. We click over here. And once we do this, it will ask us to input password. So all you have to do is input the password that you set up while you were creating MetaMask account. We'll click unlock. And as soon as we do this, our account is already accessible. We can uh, switch between accounts, between wallets that we have over here, and we can use MetaMask without any problems. So this is how you can install and configure your MetaMask account and some basic of using it. In the next episodes, I'm going to show you how to use MetaMask, for example, to trade on Uniswap or KNC to get some gems, some uh, new coins, new cryptocurrencies that are not added to big exchanges yet and have huge potential to grow larger and give you 10x profits or 100x profits or etc, etc. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments. I'm going to try to answer all of them. And remember to hit thumbs up, subscribe our channel and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching.